So while Bitcoin is down today alongside of a lot of other altcoins, predominantly from the news about KuCoin, which really isn't going to be the focus of today's video, but what isn't down is Deepin and AI. It's a narrative that is done extremely well, has outperformed Bitcoin, and once again, on a day like today, while most things are down, AI and Deepin is up. I want to talk about some recent articles, some of the things that have been recently shared, and how the largest AI project is getting ready to come to market. And that is through the combination of three other projects already. They are coming together. They're becoming one project, and it's going to be the largest AI project in the crypto world. It's going to be absolutely huge, and we're here to talk about it. If you're new here, my name is Alex. Talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like that, consider subscribing. You enjoyed this video, smash up the like. Without further ado, let's jump in the video. So over a year ago, I put out a video talking about the top three AI crypto projects. I said huge. Uh, upside potential. And uh, in this video, when when you go back and you, you check it out, I talk about, of, of all projects, in fact, if you look at the thumbnail, it has the three projects that are merging together, combining together to become one project. It is going to be, become the largest AI crypto project in the world. All three of these projects have done insanely well. Over the past year, Fetch AI has done a 10x. So some of these projects have really, really done extremely, extremely well. And when we talked about them back in January of last year, this is January 28th of 2023, this was at a point where ChatGPT was just getting like really, really popular. And so at that point, looking into the future and saying, what are some of the potential projects that are going to do really, really well that have uh, a use case, that have a working product, that have a legitimate purpose? They're not just one that just randomly popped up last week and have a great looking website. So as I dove into this 18, 19 minute video, we talked about, I mean, at this point, Bitcoin is at $23,000. It's insane to think about how far we've come in just the course of a year. Um, but Ethereum was barely above 1500. I mean, it's, it's absolutely insane to think how far we've come. Um, but as we can see, if you even look at the price points, of back then, January 28th of last year, uh, of course, so there's going to be an ad. <laughs> but uh, when you look at the, the price point of these cryptocurrency projects a year ago, uh, you can see the likes of Singularity Net at that point at 19 cents, right? If you take a look at uh, where uh, Singularity Net is today, uh, it's at a dollar and 30 cents. So getting kind of close about an 8x or so pretty pretty good uh, a lot of ai projects are actually up today even though bitcoin is down and a lot of other cryptocurrencies are down we'll look at my ai deep end portfolio uh in just a second just to showcase where things are but if you look back at this video you know, i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it but you look at every single one of these projects fetch ai has been the best performer comparing singularity net Fetch AI and Ocean Protocol. Fetch AI is the one that's done about a 10X. It's done extremely well. But we talked about all three of those in this video. Now, here's what is getting ready to happen. Singularity Net, Fetch AI, and Ocean Protocol are combining and merging into one company called Super Intelligence. So Alliance Super Intelligence ASI is going to be the new ticker symbol and it's going to be huge and, and i mean that in the most sincerest form because it is going to be the largest cryptocurrency project in the world and if you look at coin market cap before we dive into my deep in an ai portfolio it's going to have an, a starting um market cap of about 7.5 billion dollars which would put it above Uniswap right behind near or right around near. So it would put it automatically in the top 20, which is absolutely insane to think about. I mean, it's going to be larger than, than some of the other projects out there. And in fact, uh, when you consider most of them, I think Fetch is actually the highest ranked. We'll look at that in, in my portfolio in just a second. But 
all things considered, this is absolutely huge for something to the likes of AI as a whole. What's really important is the fact that all three of these companies are combining forces to what they consider a super AI, super intelligence is what they are building. So when we jump into my portfolio real quick, because I like to always be transparent whether or not uh, crypto is up, whether or not crypto is down, you can see my main portfolio down 2%, but when you jump into deepen in AI up almost 5% on the day, doing extremely well. Obviously the biggest performers are Fetch AI, over the last, let's see, over the last 24 hours, Ocean, Singularity Net, Fetch AI, Blender's actually doing really well. But overall, these are as far as profit loss, Fetch AI is a 10x, Singularity Net is a 6x, um, and Ocean is up 262% uh, over the, the time when I created that video. So, you know, you have some that have performed better than others, and that's one of the aspects as to why I, I talk so much about diversification because you may like one project more than the other, but it's always great to diversify. Maybe at that point I liked Ocean Protocol more than I liked Fetch AI, but I wanted to diversify myself into both. And then, you know, instead of just having 262% gains in a year, I'm up 991% to 62. So averaging out, you know, around six to 700% gains, which really is quite good, all things considered. At, at least in the past year, when you compare that to the likes of Bitcoin, Bitcoin, if as you saw in that video, was at twenty three thousand dollars. Bitcoin today at you know sixty eight thousand, so up three x. In this situation, you've been up about six to seven x. So AI has outperformed Bitcoin. It will continue to outperform Bitcoin. Now, here's the thing, and this is the article that talks about this, and this is why I talk so much about decentralized AI because it is going to be the future. It is a term. There are people, like I mentioned this in a couple of videos ago, maybe two days ago, there's CEOs of companies that have gone from nothing to billion dollar companies, unicorns in the AI space that are stepping down from their CEO position of a centralized AI company that's extremely successful with lots of funding to pursue decentralized AI. And so when you consider these three decentralized platforms merging uh, to create an AI alliance, uh, it's it's almost written in the, the stars to a certain degree. Uh, I think this did come as a surprise to a lot of people. I, it came as to a bit of a surprise to me, but I think looking back on it, these are the top three. Those These have been the top three AI projects in the space for a very long time, or projects solely focused on AI. So combining forces to make a, in this instance, pretty much a super intelligence, uh, artificial super intelligence, a superior AI, uh, combining forces instead of working against each other, I think this is the best case for scenario for crypto and its success in the AI space specifically, because it's still having to prove itself considering centralized AI already available. Um, so I think to a certain degree, this only solidifies crypto's future to be an integral part of AI. So all these tokens will merge into the ASI token. There'll be about 2.63 billion tokens in total, starting price of $2.82. Um, and the purpose of this is the proposed combined entity plans to create an open decentralized AI infrastructure at scale as compared to existing systems whose inner workings may be hidden from the public. This is going to be absolutely huge. Uh, and this comes on the tail end of us talking about Fetch AI. One of the reasons Fetch AI recently pumped is how much they were reinvesting back into uh, the computing side of what they're doing, talking about a $100 million investment. So I think this is going to be absolutely massive. I'm excited to see how this goes. You're probably going to see as this becomes more successful, more AI projects picking back on that success. Like they say, a rising tide lifts all boats. But I do want to talk about something else that is happening in the AI space um, that I think a lot of people aren't paying attention to because most people focused on what happened with NVIDIA and their GTC conference. Well, that was a phenomenal conference. It was extremely successful. But when you consider in a retro or when you compare the likes of NVIDIA to the likes of Apple, 
A lot of people don't realize NVIDIA is a smaller company by almost half a billion dollars or not half a billion, half a trillion dollars um, compared to the likes $500 billion less market cap than the likes of Apple. Apple is the second largest uh, publicly traded company based in the United States in the world. So if you look at the, the largest companies by market capitalization, Apple is bigger than the likes of NVIDIA. And this is after NVIDIA has been climbing uh, a ton recently. Uh, and then obviously Microsoft being the biggest in the world. But when you consider the fact that a the Apple having a massive upcoming uh, event, this is going to be in June of this year. We're talking about June uh, 10th through the 14th, I believe. Yeah, so it's going to be WWDC 24. Now, here's a, one thing. There's going to be two projects specifically that are going to absolutely burst at the seams with this, the, the potential of what's going to be discussed at this, this event. This is, according to Bloomberg, Apple thinks iOS 18 will be one of the biggest iOS updates ever. A revamped version of Siri, AI integration, auto-generating playlists in Apple Music, AI in iWorks apps, AI in Xcode for devs. So one of the things you have to consider is who are the companies out there that are currently working? Who are the crypto projects that are currently working with Apple? Well, there's only two right now. The first being IONET. IONET adds Apple chip support to its cloud-based GPU sourcing network. Now, funny enough, IONET has ties back into Render Network. Now, what Render does specifically is more on the graphics side of things. IONET, not so much on the graphics. So you have two of these companies. IONET is planning on launching its token in Q2 of this year. Could be before June, could be after June, who knows. Uh, but there is going to be an airdrop and that is going to happen for IONET. And I'm going to have a full dedicated video coming on that as to how you can possibly qualify yourself for a potential airdrop. IONET is going to be the largest GPU. We've talked about this multiple times. It's going to be the largest GPU project in the world. When you compare that with a partnership with the likes of Apple, that only solidifies the potential success of IONET. It has, I, I believe, if I remember the numbers correctly, over 10 times the GPUs that Render has. This is an absolute behemoth in the space. So just remember, Solana has been known to have the highest uh, returns when it comes to airdrops. You're having one of the largest AI decentralized computing projects in the world launching on top of Solana, launching a token in Q2 of this year. We've talked about that three or four months ago. And on top of that, they have a partnership or integration with Apple, the second largest publicly traded company in the world with a major event, with major announcements coming in two months. I don't know how much more bullish you can get on a project like IONET or how much more bullish you can get on this decentralized computing space because it is absolutely massive and this is just one small example of it. Now, Render is going to be a project that is going to, at least in my opinion, Render has the capabilities of 5Xing just from where it is right now. And I mean that in all seriousness of my expectations for Render because you have to remember who's behind Render. The founder of the, the founder of Render was also behind Octane Render, which is the, large, the most used rendering platform uh, in the world. Now, one of the things that's recently developed and why is this going to be so huge potentially for render in specifically the iOS update for mobile devices is the capabilities or the possible integration of render and its use case into mobile devices. And follow me here when I talk about this. So on December 27th, this is of last year, Odo uh, or Otio, however you pronounce that, launched Octane X, which is like the smartphone version of Octane Render. This app is available for free download on M1 and M2 iPads. Mac users can now pull off real-time photorealistic 3D rendering fast, said the Apple Store preview of Octane X. Further, Octane X provides users access to render tokens, decentralized grid of processing units. This will allow thousands of digital creators to tap the render network, the render token network for their graphic processing needs. Therefore, the adoption of render token could grow even further once more 
Developers, designers, and architects use Octane X for gaining film and other productions. This is being directly integrated into Apple M1 and M2 chips as far as compatibility. I don't think people are processing how powerful, how massive, how huge this is going to be. The possibilities look even more promising when Octane X is available on iPhone, allowing millions of users to access the interface and tap the render token network for their graphic processing needs. I don't think until it actually happens, it's going to hit people like a ton of bricks and they're going to be looking back on a project like Render. We talked about Render two years ago. They're going to look at a project like Render and they're going to regret missing out on this kind of project because if this is the type of information that could possibly be announced in the next two months, realize Render is going to run hard into that announcement and there's going to be a lot of people missing the train. Yes, obviously, the, the train could have for a lot of people left a while back. I think we were talking about Render at a dollar or two dollars. Um, Render has done extremely well. Back in, in back in la the last bull market, maybe we were even talking about it. I'd have to pull up when my first first video on render was. But we're talking about in 2020, 2021 was when we were talking about render. We were there extremely early. And a lot of people realized render up here, up here. And now they're really getting, uh, really settling into the fact that render is a legitimate project that's going to be absolutely massive. And by the time render, this is going, this, is going to be render. Let me just delete this real quick. Render where it is right now is right here before that Apple iOS phone uh, iOS update announces. And this this is going to go like this. And I I think a lot of people don't realize the power that it is going to have. It's going to be absolutely insane. So hopefully this gave you a bit of perspective on this recent AI news. These three companies merging together. Also, on top of that, what is getting ready to happen? Because it'd be great. A lot of people are going to talk about this news June 5th, five days before the event happens. It's important for you to know about this event two months ahead because there is going to be a rally in the token price up to that event. So get in early, get your research done, do your due diligence. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this integration of possibly render an IONET into Apple and then also what's happening with the likes of these three AI crypto projects, Fetch AI, Singularity Net, and Ocean Protocol merging. What are your thoughts on that? Leave your thoughts, comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash up the like, enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay invested.